Hello everyone to the second tutorial in the Mongo engine series. In this video, we will learn how to install Mongo engine uh, and then learn how to create a schema for the MongoDB document. Then finally, we'll learn how to connect to the MongoDB database. So essentially what I've done is I've created a Mongo engine database here. This is MongoDB Compass, which from where we can manage um, MongoDB. So I've created a document here. Sorry, I've created a um, database here called Mongo Engine. And then I've created a collection called User, right? Now I have to add documents to these uh, users, uh, user collection, right? So what I will do is I'll just go back. I have to first install uh, Mongo Engine. So for that, I will just do that in a virtual environment. So I'm creating a virtual environment called VENV, and then I will install Mongo Engine inside that virtual environment. Uh, yeah. So I'll just activate that. Right now, you can see that the virtual environment is uh, activated here. Right. So now I'll install Mongo Engine using so as you can see uh, PyMongo is a dependency here so basically Mongo engine is built upon PyMongo now that Mongo engine is installed I have to create a structure or a schema for the document okay to create a schema for the document I will first create a file called models.py i am just taking inspiration from django and naming this as models.py you can basically name it uh, name the file anything right so i will have to first import few things yes, from mongo engine I'll import uh, the document a string field an email field and an integer field okay and then I have to create a class called user and inherit from the document class right so what this means is we are actually defining a schema for the document called user right so in um, in, in MongoDB will this will create a collection called user and all the documents within that user collection will have this structure. So I'll just say, let's say we create an email equals an email field, which is required. I'll just say it is required. So for every document, this email field is mandatory, right? It's required. And then let's say we have first name, which is going to be a string with a max length of say 1000 we then have last name which is also a string field with a max length of 1000 finally we have an age field which is an integer field right <clears throat> so what we are basically saying for this is that we are creating a collection called user and each document within the user collection will have the email, first name, last name, and age. So essentially in MongoDB, the data will be stored in this format. Say email is Jared, oh sorry, Jaren Joe's Last name is Juice and age is 28. So it will be this way. The, the document will have this structure, which is this. This is what this structure is what this class is defining. Okay, I'll delete this. Okay. 
<coughs> okay now we have defined the uh, schema next i will create another file called app.py from where we will be uh, connecting to the database and performing all the database um, queries right so I'll say app.py okay so to connect to the database i have to first uh, import connect so I'll say from mongo engine import connect uh, i will also import uh, the user class from models so i'm basically importing this into this file now to connect to mongodb uh, i will have to use the connect uh, function say connect database i'll have to mention the database name which is basically mongo engine so in our mongodb i have created a database called mongo engine here right so i'll use this as the database i'll also have to mention the host which is going to be local host in my scenario because i have deployed um mongodb in my local system it, it was a remote server I, I would have mentioned the ip address of the server of that remote server the port in this case would be i think 27017 yeah 27017 would be the uh, port so this way i will be able to connect to the database so this is the mongo engine database that i've created here here i have created a new database called mongo engine this one localhost basically because i've deployed mongodb on my remote uh, on my local system the port which i'm using is 27017 you can change if it is a remote uh, server you can change it to a uh, ip address or a port if you have changed the uh, default port right so this is for connecting to the mongodb all right so that's it for this video in the next video we will learn how to add or insert documents into the user collection that we have created see you in the next video